Hello and guten Tag. My name is Achim Anscheid. I'm the director of design for Bugatti since 2004. And I'm going to lead you through some of the styling elements on our project Divo. What was our first inspiration? Well, it was actually our president, Stefan Winkelmann, who gave us a briefing in the very beginning saying, give me a car, please, that is completely different from the Chiron, but still unmistakably identifiable as a Bugatti. And that takes us to the front of the car. You can still see the horseshoe being prominent in the front of the car in the strong center line accentuation, but you see a very different face and a different architecture in the front. Why so? Everything around the fuselage that you can see in this area is tailored towards the brake performance of the car. All the air intakes for the brake performance are here, but there are also air intakes for the brake performance here via an S-duct leading down to the brake cooling. And that is the reason why the architecture of the frontal face has the headlights all the way to the outside because the performance is happening here on the inside. When I take you around the car here from the side, you can clearly still see a Bugatti signature. It still, it's still very much shows the identity of the Bugatti DNA. It still shows very much a Bugatti line that you also find on the Chiron. But you see a Bugatti line here on the Divo in a proportion that is quite different, quite a bit more sporty and agile and lean, and also moving the car, even at standstill, slightly forward. But it's a very dif different proportion that you see from the side, and this leads to the agile character and styling of this car. You can also see the lower part of this car being ultra cut and sharp, in contrast to the very soft lines to the upper body. This is due to the performance aspect to get more downforce into the car by the carbon package that is on the lower side visible. Onto the roof you see a NACA duct element that draws much more air into the engine compartment and flushes out hot air from the engine and leads clean air also onto our fixed rear wing development, which is still able to fulfill the air brake function. And finally, when we come towards the rear of the car, you can see a complete different interpretation of the Chiron rear end, but you still also see something that we call form following performance, and that's those tail lights here. So as a designer, I always love it when form is following performance, and if the design solution and the technical solution really starts to work as a win-win situation between the design department and the department of technical development. Well, that pretty much wraps up our little walk around with the Bugatti Divo. 40 clients, each car 5 million, and they were all sold within four weeks. I think this is a clear sign and indication for the strength of the Bugatti brand and for the passion that our most trusted customers have for our products.